Thank you. Uh, it's a complex issue, but mm. uh, in the interest of time, I'm going to keep to focus the, 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 uh, the, the question. But uh, um, are waste exporters able to submit applications for a new licence that would be valid post-Brexit before the UK leaves the uh, EU? And that's an important issue, given mm. the length of time that that could take. And, what contingency plans are in place to deal with waste that, that may become stranded in the UK if there is a disruption to exports to the EU? And how, have you now agreed with the EU how reapprovals of shipments will take place? So there's a sort of no, all, all, of the, all of that is still subject to negotiation at the moment. And one of the things I would say is that um, b b given what has already happened with China and what is now happening with Malaysia, we recognise that there is more waste that does need to be uh, processed in the UK and in the EU, but we have been talking both to waste companies and to the Commission about how we can ensure that uh, uh, all, all, all authorizations and access remain. Right. And have we got the capacity to uh, uh, to deal with more waste within the UK? Not at the moment, no. One of the things we will be saying more about in our resources and waste strategy, um, which we will publish, um, God willing. Um, uh, just after the budget is exactly how we propose to increase that capacity. Okay, so the other issues about renegotiating mm. approvals and that, they're still the subject of, of negotiation. They are. And I think the general point that the Secretary of State made earlier applies that uh, we stand ready um, you know, in, in all sorts of areas. The uh, companies uh, need to register to become, uh, to, to operate in the EU. Uh, companies are ready to do that uh, and we are engaging uh, with the EU so that they, uh, in, uh, on this issue of whether they can apply before the point at which the UK becomes a third country. Thank you. But can, can I just come in this area? I mean, I, I see some potential a bit like the sort of the M26. We're going to have a backup of, mm. of because uh, the waste strategy, which we look forward mm. to uh, this autumn, but um, in energy f uh, from waste plants yes. take, uh, with planning permissions, I don't know, seven, eight years to, to, get, to get there. So are we, are we going to ha have we got a contingency plan for the backing up of sort of millions of black plastic bags or whatever? I mean, it's a, it's a serious issue, isn't it? It is a very serious issue, but it, but it, but it, but it works both ways, as it were, in that it's, the, it's in the EU's interest as well sure. to make sure that um, uh, we have... It's in, uh, the in, I think it's in the EU's interest to do a deal, as we indeed, all want to do a deal. Indeed, no, no, we're no, talking no, about uh, if we don't. So no, no, no. Um, but, but yes, no, the, 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 we are drawing up contingency plans in each individual area of individual UK commercial concerns. Um, for whatever reason, can't maintain the access to the EU market that they've had um, in the past. Um, in a, and we can say more about that um, once the resources and waste strategy has been published. Okay. But we have contingency plans yes. for it all go wrong, have we? Uh, yes, but that doesn't mean that, if, uh, uh, that we can mitigate every risk, but we can seek to mitigate as many as possible. Thank you.